It's the best of Weekly Drive, and as voted by you, the viewers, we've got the Freightliner FLB pulling a heavy haul. Junior Senior. G'day, YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming, and today we are doing the best of Weekly Drive, and the winner is the Freightliner FLB, and that's voted by you, the viewers. So. Wow, awesome, great job guys. I mean, the, let's see, we had the F Freightliner FLB with 18 votes. We had the Peterbilt 281351 with, one, with, 281351 with 7 votes. We had the Kenworth W900L with 4 votes. And the Kenworth C500 with 4 as well. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't as close as I thought it was. It was pretty much a landslide with the Freightliner FLB winning there, so... Well, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Now, we're using uh, Cyrus the Virus's oversized loads here. The link for that will be in the description. And we're going from Carlsbad in uh, California all the way over to Yuma. There we go. We are hauling. Um, I didn't. Uh, I was going to try and do something again in, in the new DLC, but uh, I couldn't quite get what I wanted. So I just went, ah, stuff it. I'll just do it over there. Doesn't matter. Um, so today we are hauling, hauling, uh, where is the button? There we go. Uh, seed tanks. Seed tanks, 25 tons of seed tanks there. And we're going to rail export. Ugh. I hate rail export. I hate, I hate, I hate delivering there. It's, it's horrible. But it doesn't matter. Let's get on the road and let's get this trigger rolling, shall we? Uh, so I have the... Uh, the engine I have today is the, what is it? It's the Detroit Diesel, and we have 500 horsepower, so, um, and 18, uh, 16 plus 2 it is, is uh, Eaton Fuller, so, let's see if we can get this moving. Uh, uh, and I need to switch that over there. And we want to go out this way. Just going to turn that volume up a little bit more. I've been struggling with the volume levels with this truck. And, uh, I mean, it's loud and then it's soft and then it's loud and then it's soft. And I actually have the interior volume turned down as low as possible and it's still coming out really loud so it's amazing all right we we'll turn out here now we do have a wide load so we have to just be careful and I need to put the beacons on did I put oh you know what I forgot to put beacons on again what an idiot what an idiot why do I keep forgetting to put beacons on? I don't know. I don't know. It really is crazy. What's that car doing behind me? You see that car? It's fishtailing all over the place. Right. Um, look, let's get into some SCS news, shall we, while we quickly wiggle through all these these roads here and I don't have any lights on do I there we go that helps a few lights that'll help maybe people can see me now uh, right so uh, there's not really a great deal of news except for except for uh, the special transport DLC which if many of you don't know the special transport DLC is for Euro Truck Simulator 2 and what it basically does it gives you uh, oversized loads and that what will come with that well you get uh, uh, you actually get new beacon lights you get massive loads and you also get pilot cars so loads like this but uh, bigger and you also get pilot cars to help you around the actual uh, the, the the roads and that what is this truck doing I don't know what he is doing, but it's not very cool. Idiot. 
Um, so yeah, and when is that going to be released? Well, they said the release date will be announced next week. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if they're actually going to release it before Christmas or or is it going to be just after Christmas or or maybe it's on Christmas, who knows? Who knows? Um so we're getting really spoilt right at the end of the year, aren't we? Which is great. I love it. Now, uh, also, they did have as well in there on that um, that blog as well as well. They had the uh, Italia fan made videos. Unfortunately, guys, I didn't get in again. Um, I seriously believe that SCS hates my guts. But um, <laughs> but uh, that's fine. Uh, we'll just keep making videos and still having fun. So it's probably because I'm Australian. Everyone hates Australians for some reason. They either love or hate Australians. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's all good. They can do that. I'm still going to have fun making videos. Um, but um, so yeah, you can see there's uh, Squirrel, of course, is on there. Uh, Daggerwin. Uh, is on there as well. There's a few other guys as well Who are on there? So if you want to check out those some of your favorite youtubers um, Doing videos for American trucks uh, for Euro trucks, sorry I had to skip a few gears there because uh, it was not looking good we're actually I just held that one there. I probably should have went down a bit lower. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. All all good now. All good. Um So what else was there? There was um Ah, uh, yeah, also as well, something else that I read in there that I thought was very interesting was the, uh, for three hours, the Italia DLC became the top global seller. That really is uh, absolutely amazing. It really is. Uh, you know, for like, just for a, a game like Euro Trucks, which has been, been around for so long, is getting, um, you know, getting that kind of uh, uh, exposure you know it really is is cool I'm trying to just there we go that's better I was trying to figure out what was going on here why that was all weird oh come on I'm really having one of those days so far today so for some reason my shift is not working properly you know I don't know these things happen eh just keep on trucking that's the main thing keep those wheels turning but if we have a look at the load today this is from uh, Cyrus the virus oh shit sorry mate um, <laughs> seed tanks so we've got a load of seed tanks here that um, we're gonna take out to some farmers and see if they can use them for anything who knows probably seeds I guess anyway um, there we go, sound's gone back to normal now. So yeah, this um, DLC, not DLC, but the, the actual mod uh, for the trailers does have actually a few pretty decent things in there that are really wide, like big tanks and uh, trains and all sorts of things. All sorts of things on there, so definitely worth the, uh, the download, guys. And I know we've had a look at this before. Uh, we did a massive big rubbish bin. Um, which was uh, pretty cool and uh, now we're doing seed tanks so there we go what's over there? it's a windmill farm the scenery, I love the scenery I really do um, I got some bad news guys my GoPro died my GoPro died and I have to take it back I'm going to see if I can ask him if I can upgrade to the brand new um, Black 6. The, uh, what is it, GoPro 6. Because the GoPro 6 has just come out now. So, let's see if I can upgrade to that maybe for a, you know, a little bit extra. 
Uh, if it's too much, then I'll say no, but uh, we'll see how we go. Um, oh, 55 we're meant to be doing. There we go, put that cruise control on. Um, yeah, so look, I was I was basically, uh, that surprise that I told you has actually arrived. Uh, I just, I've been trying to do a video on it, but, you know, the data is on my GoPro and I can't get it off. So that's why I haven't done the video yet. I've got some data off it, but not all of it. So I may, I'm sort of, may have, to, I'm thinking this weekend what I'll do is I'll just use my phone to record the rest. I think that's what I'll what I'll do would be, be be the better thing. So, but because um, it's been a few weeks now since I've got it, and I've, I've, that's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to fix my GoPro, and I rung up the actual support center for GoPro and said, "Hey, look, this is happening on my GoPro. What do I do?" And um, yeah, they said, "Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but that is definitely that is definitely cactus, and you're going to have to." Uh, return that to where you bought it from or you can send it directly to us so uh, they did say that since it's definitely cactus that uh, I can get a swap so I'll hopefully I don't know if they'll do that though they're generally not that generous where I bought it from I bought it from the good guys they're not always good guys so But we'll see. You never know. They might be. They might turn around and say, "Yeah, sure, mate. Here's an, you got the RA number for us and everything." So yeah, make their life easier. Um. So yeah, pretty much all that all they have to do is they just have to ring up where I, uh, the guys that I bought it from, the good guys. They just have to ring up GoPro and say, "Hey, look, customers brought in this number." Uh, what do you want us to do? Do you want us to replace it or, or what? You know, and then they'll take it from there. So, I'm hoping that they will allow me to buy a, a, a new GoPro Six. That'll be awesome. It really will. That will be really cool. But anyway, just have to wait and see. But um, so, what else? What else been going on? Christmas is coming soon. I hope all of you have been very good this year and uh, you're going to have something really nice in your Christmas stocking. I hope so. Um, because there's nothing worse than getting an onion in your in your Christmas stocking. <laughs> I, I say that because one year Junior didn't believe uh, when he was a lot younger he didn't believe that he was going to get an onion for Christmas because I said to him if you're naughty you're going to get an onion for Christmas and he didn't believe so one year I gave him an onion for Christmas <laughs> oh man should have seen his face it was like he was crying and oh no but the positive side and I love this I love this he saw the positive side of it he said it made good spaghetti <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, and uh, what else? Oh, so the, over the holidays, I'm gonna go see. Um, we're gonna go see some movies and, and other stuff, uh, like Star Wars. I'm a Star Wars fan. I like Star Wars. I like Star Star Trek better, but uh, Star Trek aren't making any movies in a hurry, and I'm really not too keen on that new Star Trek series, unfortunately. But. Um, uh, I'm a big fan of Next Generation. I like Next Generation. And the original series is pretty good too. But, uh, gonna go see that Star Wars movie. I have to say, what, they're putting out two within a couple of months. Which is gonna be interesting. Um, I saw that there was, um, the main story, and then there's the Han Solo story as well. Which is going to be really interesting. Look, there's one of the things from this DLC as well. The not DLC, one of the uh, the loads from this from Cyrus the Virus's uh, uh, heavy load pack thing. You know what I mean? Links in the description, guys, if you want it. 
well I'll link you to his uh, page as well his YouTube channel so you can check that out as well right now uh, I'm gonna take a photo I think let's take a photo now we can see the truck in uh, in the daylight there you go oversized load look at that seed tanks pretty damn good and there we go that's pretty good uh, photo right there so is that actually this truck I reckon it just it takes some great photos this truck maybe not so high but anyway and I'm gonna oh that's not bad either that's not bad I'm just going to let's go the uh, not blurred to get rid of the blur strength field of view there we go I like playing around with the field of view sometimes it makes some good photos sometimes it doesn't just depends there we go uh, another thing that I need to tell talk to you guys and tell you about next week guys it's the big one the one that you've all been waiting for it's the best truck mod for 2017 man that's gonna be that's gonna be awesome so there's gonna be four trucks four trucks guys that you need to vote for and you need to sit down and seriously think about which truck is the best truck for 2017 guys now I would I really like for you to all take factor these in mind to keep this in mind all right so uh, the truck did it crash if it crashed during the um, during the mod review I'd have to say that's out okay especially for the finals that's out uh, did the truck look good inside and out okay you need to think about that as well did it look good inside and out this one looks pretty good yeah inside and out was it nice was it very smooth to drive so was it you know didn't jerk or jump around the place or it you know like this is fine this is perfect carrying a load I definitely deserves to go into the finals definitely so you need to think of things like that you know when you're actually making your decision all right so uh, it's I know it's a lot guys but this is really important to me you know the 2017 uh, best truck mod for 2017 it's not just something that I want to just give to anybody no they, it's got to be you know deserved all right so uh, really want you to sit down and think about it guys there's another load up front there from this pack from this uh, this mod he's got his beacons on I, I honestly don't don't believe I do anyway do I no I don't have any beacons I got oh there we go I do have beacons there we go I got them turned on now should have had them on in the first place damn it all that way without my beacons on I don't even have beacons on the front of my truck naughty naughty there's another one there the cement trailer train trailer <coughs> take this wide I do have the truck a bit low down in the gears, but doesn't matter. I get in the gear, you silly thing. This DD seems to be pulling quite well. Doesn't have any problems. last night oh man last night this car was really trying to you know cause me problems last night I came onto the highway and it's a short little narrow section of the highway as you're coming out of Ipswich going on to the um, uh, what is it the Darren Lockyer away uh, and what happened is I'm a truck right I can only go so so fast okay and this as I'm coming on there the actual 
car that was coming in the distance wouldn't shove over he had plenty of room but he wouldn't shove over into the other lane which is generally what you do you jump in the other lane because you can see the truck coming on and I started going well mate I'm running out of room here so you're gonna have to either slow down or go around and what I, I started merging on there slowly and he basically jammed his brakes on and um, then started to abuse me uh, so I'm just sort of okay no problem um, and then he slowed down in front of me and you know he started he jammed his brakes on him did a brake check on me so um, you know I thought it's jerks like that on the road that really should not have a license you know you don't do things like that there's an alligator on the side of the road you see that I've never seen that before. It's a it's a lump of tread on the side of the road. Wow. It's one of those random things. That's awesome. Did not know that you could see that in the actual... Uh, in this latest patch. Here we are. We're at Yuma now. All right, mate, don't stop. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Thank you, thank you. All right. Now, uh, let's put the trailer brake on. We're going to get around that corner without having to... Oh, it's a bit tricky. Oh, that might be just scraping there, and there's not much I can do about that because of all the uh, traffic. Might have just scraped. Did that damage the load? No, it didn't. Good. Couple of uh, bobcats on the side of the road there, or skids. Skid steers, they call them in the US, I believe. We call them bobcats here in Australia. Right, coming down to Yuma. And... Here we go. Probably not supposed to use your... Uh, your banana break when you're coming into town like that. I don't think they really, the locals really like it. And, oh, I had a green. Was that, a, oh no, that wasn't for me, sorry. That was, that was for there. And uh, I suppose I can jump out and take a photo, can't I? Take some more photos. You can never ha never have enough to enough photos, guys. I reckon you can have always have plenty of photos, especially when it looks like like this. That is awesome. Seed tanks just look brilliant. I really like to see, and I don't know if I, I don't know if there's a mod out there or not. I, I don't haven't don't believe I've seen one. Here in Australia, we've got the trailer actually separates apart, splits apart for the size of the load. And I'd really like to see that in American trucks. Right, turning down here. And we got to go to Rail Express. Oh man, I hate Rail Express. Bet you it's going to ask me to park it around the corner as well. So this could take me a while to do that. Geez, I really took that wide, didn't I? I keep thinking the trailer's wider than what it is. All right, so looks like yeah, we got to go. And look where we have to park it. In that stupid spot. 
over there. So I'm going to see if I can... See if I can hook it in here. And then I can spin it round. See, it didn't hit anything, so that's good. G'day, fellas. How's it going? You always got to be polite to people. All right. Now, this is going to be interesting. It might take a couple of goes of me getting it in the right position here. We'll see. Just got to watch that other trailer on the side here. And that one back there. And that looks like it's clear of that trailer now. Or is it? Yeah, it is. It is. And then back that up. Remember, guys, when you're backing up, just take it slow. Nice and slow. And I'm going to aim that for over there just doing a quick check down the side there to see that there's nothing there oops need to straighten that and the wheels are passed yes Now, here's where the tricky part comes. I'm probably going to have to drive forward so that I can get it uh, in a straighter position here. See, because that's a bit far away from where I need to be. Okay. Take a gradual turn and then I'll have to tuck it in tight. If I can get it in there. Oh, hang on, that's going to hit that tank, is it? Yeah, it is. It is, and I'm going to hit the wall too. We're probably going to get a late, late thing for this, I reckon. Is that going to get around there? Looks like it will. Gee, you wouldn't want to do this in anything but a cab over because uh, it would be definitely difficult. Right, so let's try that again. And that's looking better. Whoops, I think I've gone and turned that. Need to try and, yeah, you know what? I've messed that up. I've messed it up, and I'll just try that again. This is why I hate this area here. This is probably, for me, the hardest, the hardest one to... Uh, to back this into. If 
Fire out, Brussels sprout. If you're lucky, you can jackknife it in there, but not always. I just don't believe that we get enough room that we need to turn it round. More room, please. <laughs> Is that gonna get in there? Let's uh, let's just shimmy that back and forth, and that looks like is gonna go in there. Look at that! Got it. Took me a little bit, but got it. It's just a real pain. It's um, one of the hardest. It's probably the hardest spot for backing in for me. But there we go. So we got it. Excellent. We got an excellent and it wasn't late. Great. Wow. That is really, really good. That's very, very good that is. So let's go drive there. And there we go, guys. That is the winner of the best of uh, weekly drive number four. Uh, next year we'll be doing a whole lot. Uh, a, 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 we'll be doing a whole lot more mod reviews, uh, and we'll be doing another four seasons. Okay, so we break up the year into four seasons, and um, yeah, we do the mod reviews for that. And it's generally about ten different weekly drives, and then that goes into a, one big compilation, like we just had now, and you get to choose which is what you've just done. So this is the final truck to go into the best truck mod for 2017. It's so exciting, isn't it? Next week, guys, we will be doing that. So tomorrow, I'll make a video for you telling you exactly which trucks you need to vote for. And then it's up to you. You will then need to jump in and tell me which truck you think deserves to be the best truck mod for 2017. Okay, so uh, I'm going to see if I can get on the forum as well a voting thing happening for the best map mod. Uh, so, guys, if you're interested in that, uh, we'll head on over to the forum and we'll get something going over there so you can actually uh, check that out. If you, you want to know what the forum address is, in the description, guys, click where it says read more down the, below the video here and you'll actually see uh, where it says Junior Senior Gaming Forum. Okay, so... Uh, make sure you check that out. But that is pretty much it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to punch that like button in the ass. And if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.